I am David, your developer on Duty, and in this video I will show you how to create a NeoVim plugin using Lua. First we need to create a few directories somewhere on the file system. I call it Lua plugin. In here we create a new directory called Lua. And inside Lua, we create another directory with the name of the plugin, Lua plugin. And in there, we create a file called init.lua. Let's open this init.lua file and we just want to print something, just for us to see that it's being loaded. Print hello world. To try it out, we have to start NeoVim and adjust the runtime path to also include this directory. We can do this by running NeoVim dash dash command and then we write set runtime path and append the current directory. Now inside we have access to our Lua plugin. So we can write Lua require Lua plugin and you can see we get hello world. You've probably seen in other plugins that you can require this package and then run arbitrary functions. So let's try to support this in our own plugin too. So let's create a local function, which we call some function. And here we print hello from function. Now to export it, we can just return it. We can return, for example, a table with some function equals to some function. Let's quickly try it out. So I again restart my Vim instance with a runtime path adjusted to the current directory and I execute Lua require Lua plugin dot sum function. Now you can see hello world which comes from require Lua plugin and hello from function which comes from the function. If I execute it again you can see only hello from function. This is because require Lua plugin was cached. Now that we have successfully bootstrapped and tested our plugin, the only thing left to do is to adjust our plugin to do something useful. In this example, I want my function to open up a new terminal in a vertical split and run a command, in this case, the JavaScript test runner chest for the current file. So let's get rid of hello world and substitute some function with run chest. First we need the current file. So we can write local file equals to vim fn and now you have access to some vim functions. For example expand. We give percentage column p and to test it out we can just print it. Print my file is now you concatenate strings with dot dot and you can write file let's restart our vim instance and require lua plugin dot run chest and since i haven't selected any file i get an empty string if i open my init lua file and do the same thing again you can see I get the complete file path. Let's open up a terminal in a vertical split so we can write vim cmd to run any command and we can write vsplit and terminal. And now we can send an arbitrary command to this terminal so we can write local command equals to call job send which lets us send any command to the terminal. It requires the terminal ID as a first argument, so we can just write b terminal job ID. And then we can run any argument. For example, we can say echo hello world. And we insert a new line to execute it. And then we can run vim command with that command. Let's reopen this vim instance with this file 
and run this function. And you can see we get hello world in a terminal. And instead of printing out hello world, we want to run our chess test. So we can just write chest and then provide the name of our file. And we can try it out. So let's go into a repository where we have actually some test. And then we can set the runtime path again to our Lua plugin. And now we can execute our run test run chest function. And you can see the chest test is running. Of course, it's unjustified to create a plugin for such a small example, but we can expand on that idea. Here, I already created a plugin called Chester, which lets you run and debug chest tests in a more sophisticated way, for example, the nearest tests according to your cursor position using FreeSitter APIs. I hope you enjoyed this video. I'm looking forward to your own plugins. Thanks for watching and stay tuned.